Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are talking about the B36-3. So in my initial review of the B36-3, I liked it, but it had one major flaw and that was the original gearbox in it. So this little 260 or whatever size motor wasn't particularly strong enough for a truck of this caliber especially when it's towing the rest of its trailer which is currently off camera because well too big to fit all in one shot so like what i said in the original video what i think they should have done from the factory was put a free a 370 size motor in it from the factory so just taking a little size comparison so the gearbox on this side is from the WPL Suzuki Jimny. That has actually got a 370 from stock. I didn't get a complete answer, but I believe they may now be shipping with a 370 motor. I'm not 100% sure, and I'm if I can confirm it, I'll add a uh, subtitle down here saying yes or no. But I've decided to take it one step further with upgrading it so within the video i did suggest oh it might might be worth purchasing metal axles and the two-speed gearbox which now i have the original motherboard which is in this works with the two-speed you just have it's the same as the res 3 you have to just put the so you have to put the gear shift servo on the second slot on the board so it will work off your third channel just like the Res 3 board does. So now when you turn it on you get both speeds. So I believe that is maybe high and that is low. So considering that's now in low you should get a hell of a lot more torque in it so it shouldn't struggle on hills or carrying heavy weights we can give that a shot here we have it on flat ground with its trailer and with the e1 attached of course it could pull the e1 on flat ground even though it's all metal upgraded and everything let's add a bit more weight to it so here is my fully metal RC rock buggy. So we're currently in low gear. Moves off without an issue. I can even reverse it with no issue. Apart from me just crashing it into all my uh, drawers. So, so just with a two simple items upgraded on it has gr drastically improved how it handles and runs. So, enough talking. I think, you know what? It's time to take it to the castle and get it up some of those hills. We'll try it with and without the trailer. Just because, oh. just because I haven't actually really run it since the initial running video. I kind of want to see what the truck is like just by itself. So, let's go. Thank you. 
And we are back. Wow, that made so much difference having the two speed in this. The video doesn't actually show it much justice. Some of them hills at the castle. They're like this. So you see clips of me where I'm like helping the trailer along a little bit. That is because it is trying to pull something twice its weight up a slope like that which how far it made actually surprised me the only little issue i was having which i think this may be due to overheating 
not overheating on the motor, I think actually on the motherboard itself, is once one battery had died, I had got several batteries with me at the time, I put a new one in and it would only go maybe 10, 20 feet and then stop again. It was the exact same problem I was having previously where I thought, oh, the batteries were dead. But as at this point, I have like five or six of them now. I tried another one and it would do the exact same. So I waited until I got home, ran it again, and it ran absolutely fine. So I think there is some sort of like overheating protection on that board, which is fair enough considering, like I just said, the weight it is towing. Apart from that, running the truck by itself runs exactly like my original B36 used to run. Absolutely ploughed through a lot of mud, which I'm kind of regretting right now because it fucking reeks. So I may need to uh, Febreze or air freshener it before it goes back on the shelf. But apart from that, like I said, I am very, very impressed with just two simple things improved it drastically. So all I've got to say is thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, whatever else you want to do. Links where to buy this will be down in the description where to get the upgrades as well and I'll leave you with some clips of me attempting to try and drift this on ice and goodbye.